Well, good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, August the 25th. Um, I'm at the barn. We have practice this morning for the play days. Um, I'm going to ride a flame this morning because Eleanor couldn't be here today. And then I hope maybe afterwards we're going to ride bow. I'm going to ride bow again. Um, basically, we're just going to practice today for their little events next weekend. Um, I'll probably just ride flame around. I'm not interested in doing poles and barrels and stuff like that with her. Um, but just get some time to ride her. And then later today, I've got to take my chicks or my young chickens for poultry testing for the fair. They're having a testing event. One of the 4-H clubs is putting a testing event on in town at 3 o'clock. So I've got to take my chicks down there to get them tested for pylorum typhoid. It's a blood test to show they don't, they are not carriers for the pylorum typhoid disease. You have to have a health paper to take to the fair when you check in. So, uh, I'm going to do that. And then I don't know what else I'll do today. Probably just not a whole lot. I'm going to do a little bit of house cleaning as usual. And um, I need to go get groceries at some point. I might wait till in the morning to go do that, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a good morning, and we're going to go ride some horses. change of plans. Flame is favoring one of her front hooves, probably sore footed from all the rain we've been having. So I rode Bo in practice today and he was a perfect gentleman. Um, you know, we still got some softness to work on with him, but he took it like a champ and wasn't worried about anything and didn't spook and didn't act like a fool. Got a horse fly after him and he was pretty good about that because a lot of horses, when you, um, when they get a horse fly after them, they'll They'll flat put you on the ground to get rid of that horse fly. So I was real proud of him. Proud that Christy was able to help us and and we're just gonna keep on keeping on now. No reason, no looking back now. <laughs> right, buddy? Yeah, he's a good boy. So I'm just delighted as can be. Well, I'm here at the local Methodist church for bird testing. They're a little hot just because they're nervous. So I'm gonna take them out and sit them on the ground. I brought them a bottle of water to drink from, so they'll have something to drink. I stopped to get them some eyes at the Sonic, but Sonic's machines are frozen up, so they couldn't take any orders for the next 30 minutes. So no happy hour eyes for the chickens. So we're gonna sit out here. There's a group of other people here waiting, so I'm gonna get them out and sit them out in the shade.
Well, it's 20 after 3. Apparently the tester has a little bit more casual relationship with time than I do. So. Push them up against there? One at a time, brother. I like my way of doing stuff. They like well, you don't want to grab their tail feathers because that's what makes them pretty. Well, I got my birds tested and they were all fine. Um, we have to do that um, it's a state requirement if you're going to move birds around. It helps prevent disease spreading. It's kind of like we have to have all of our cattle tested for brucellosis and we have to have Coggins papers on the horses. I'm really surprised we don't have to have health papers on the rabbits, but I guess they don't do that at this fair. I think probably if you go to state, there's more, more. And like if I take a horse out of state, I actually have to have a health certificate and they have to have some form of permanent identification. Uh, whether it's a microchip or a brand or a tattoo um, that's why my horses all have freeze brands on their shoulders uh, Trixie doesn't yet but she has her IH, IS, ISR International Sport Horse Registry yeah has her ISR brand that she got at inspection um, you know and some people argue that that's cruel and it's probably not the most comfortable thing. I mean, I've got tattoos and I know it's not the most comfortable thing, but if it keeps them from being stolen or if it get if that means they get stolen, I can get them back easily because I have proof that they're mine. Um, you know, a little discomfort, I guess, is worth saving their lives over. Um, so actually, Gusty and Flame are also both microchipped. Um, the state several years ago had a free program where they would microchip all your horses and so um, they both have microchips in them um, my younger horses don't but Gusty and Flame both do and Chips also and, and Angel all have microchips um, so I'll get Trixie branded when she finishes growing because you don't want to brand her with a full-size brand when she's still growing and then it stretches out. Bo is ready to brand. He's eight, you know, so he's ready to, he's ready to brand. Um, but anyway, so uh, got my birds tested, like I said. Um, it was really neat to see, uh, this was mostly 4-H families, and it was neat to see how they instill in their children the sense of helping others. Uh, there was an elderly lady there, and in fact, I know her daughter and I know her too. She was there with her grandson. Her grandson, well, let's just say I'm glad he's not mine. <laughs> he's kind of disrespectful and I'm sure he's probably got attention deficit disorder, which is nothing against him, but what that means is he is not very helpful and when she does try to get him to help, He's very belligerent and he's hard to control and he's hard to keep focused and he, you know, and when you're handling animals, you have to stay focused or they get loose and they run away. Um, so she was worried about him and so the other kids' families and the other kids stepped up and helped and, and it's nice to see that, um, and you know, and nothing against this young young man. He is, he is a, he was a foster child for this, in fact, I know he was. The woman who is now his adopted mother, he was a foster child and he came from a very rough background. So, you know, I understand that he's had a rough road to hoe and so I tr I'm a little bit more patient with him. But, but when you are handling animals, you do have to pay attention and you have to keep focused or they do get loose and run away. <laughs> you know, that's just a fact. They don't, they don't care who's handling them. They're going to get, they're going to take advantage. Um, but we got, the, but it was nice to see the other families step up and, and I, I enjoyed visiting with the people. I didn't know very many of them, but I mean, a lot of them were quite friendly and they actually let me go before this one family probably had 35 birds and they had been there at least, you know, I know they were there longer than I was cause they were there when I drove up and then the jet, the tester was like 25 minutes late. Um, so, you know, they didn't have to let me go before then, but they were nice enough. They said, well, you've just got four, go ahead. 
so I thought that was really kind of them to um, let me go before them um, but you know everybody's getting geared up for the fair which is nice to see you know the families that were there were talking about they're getting the fairgrounds ready I guess they got money to buy some new cages for the, the poultry and rabbit exhibition area so they were talking about getting those ready and it was neat to listen to them talk um, I'm home obviously I've already fed and watered and Gusty's finishing up her supper and I've got a pizza cooking in the oven for my supper and the dogs have been fed and the cats have been fed I busted up my broody hen finally she's been sitting on those eggs for two months they're not gonna hatch none of them were fertile I broke them all open and gave them to the, the barn cats none of them were fertile and you know they can sit there for so long they can actually starve themselves to death so I busted her up and took away her eggs and she's mad at me right now but at the end of the day she'll get over it um, plus you know I need to start selling eggs to my co co-workers again and I need to know which ones are fresh <laughs> But she'd been sitting there since before I went, well before I went to Mystic South. She'd probably been sitting on those eggs since the 1st of July. So it was time to make her quit. Um, you know, because she sometimes they won't go get water like they need to and go get feed. They're so fixated on sitting on their eggs. Um, so anyway, so I had to do that. And um, like I said, I've got a pizza cooking in the oven. My plan for this evening, I've already started doing a little bit of house cleaning. Um, I started my laundry already. Um, tomorrow, the plan is to get up early and mow the bee yard because it's gotten grown up pretty bad and to muck under the rabbit cages before it gets hot because I'm tired of that mess being there and it needs to be cleaned up and it won't take me but a couple hours to do if I'll just get out there and do it. Make myself, I'm, not try, I'm gonna try not to sit up too late tonight watching Netflix or knitting or whatever. I'm gonna try to get up early in the morning before it gets hot, because it's been pretty warm today. I mean, you can tell by looking at my face, it's pretty warm. Uh, but anyway, so I hope you guys have had a good day. I'm gonna close this vlog out for today. Um, I thank you so much for everybody's sweet words about me riding Bo yesterday. That meant the world to me. And riding him again today in the rainbow rider practice was good for us too. Um, big confidence builder you know I wasn't nervous at all on him I wasn't worried um, you know I got off of him when the horse fly got on him just because I needed to swat it and I didn't really want to swat it with me sitting on him in the group of like 15 other horses or 10 other horses with the kids there so I decided I would get down and swat it and then Marianne got a chance to ride him and um, everything so you know that was great but it's been a good day. It's been a good weekend. Um, hope y'all are all doing well. I know Antonia is on a trip to Ireland, so I hope she has a great time. Um, you know, I've enjoyed um, everybody's feedback. All the feedback about Bo from everyone has been so sweet. Uh, all the feedback about my 20th anniversary of teaching has been great. So um, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad that I have done these vlogs. Um, you know, I hope that y'all have enjoyed them. It's been fun for me just to kind of document what I do day to day. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I'll see y'all tomorrow. So until I talk to y'all tomorrow, y'all be good to each other and take care of each other. And peace out, y'all. Bye.